I'm going to go over question number five from uh, the BC Calculus Exam 2007 Form B. Um, so let's take a look. It's uh, kind of a differential equation slash Euler's method problem, really. Um, so let's say we're, we're given this, and what we're asked to find first is the uh, second derivative in terms of x and y. Um, so it's kind of implicit differentiation um, because y is a function of x, so the derivative of 3x is 3, but the derivative of 2y is 2 dy dx. And then we just um, substitute back in because we know what dy dx is. Um, so we get to here, and then we distribute. I'm assuming you can clean this up on your own, but anyway, you can watch me do it. And I get to this, and this is my answer. Um, that's, you know, pretty good. Not a lot going on. Uh, the next question is, um, I actually like the next question. Uh, they give you that y equals mx plus b plus e to the rx is a solution of the differential equation. And what we have to do is we have to find m, b, and r. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of that y that I'm given. Um, so the derivative of mx is m, the derivative of b is 0, and then um, r, e to the rx. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that y and substitute it into the dy dx that I was given. So now I get 3x plus 2 times this y value, and then plus 1. Clean this up a bit. Get to there. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, factor this. So the coefficient of x is 3 plus 2m. Uh, the constant term is 2b plus 1. And then I have 2e to the rx. And now what I'm going to do is uh, compare the two things and just equate the coefficients. So um, for this form of dy dx, I can see that the coefficient of x is 3 plus 2m. And for the other form, there is no x, so the coefficient must be 0. So that gives me one equation that I can work with. So 3 plus 2m equals 0. Now I know what m is. Um, now I'm going to look at the constant terms. So um, for that, it's 2b plus 1. For the other one, it's just m. So I know that 2b plus 1 must equal m. And I already solved for m, so I can get this. So now I know what b is. And then finally, I'm going to compare the coefficients of e to the rx. Um, and get 2 on this side. I get r there. So r equals 2. Put a box around it, and uh, I'm done with that. I like that question. Um, it's kind of interesting, and we get to mess around with the derivative a little bit. Um, now some Euler's method problems. So I always set up this table. Um, the primary thing that people forget is to multiply by delta x. Um, in this case, delta x is given to us, and it is 1 half. Um, so I put the initial point in the table, and now I have to calculate delta y. So delta y is, um, don't forget the delta x. So I always put that in first, so 1 half. And now I'm going to evaluate the derivative at the point that I was given. Um, and simplify that. So I have negative 3 halves. Um, now I'm going to, x is 1 half because delta x is 1 half, so I increase by 1 half. And then um, to get this negative 7 halves, what I've done is I add the original y and the delta y. So y plus delta y is my new y, which is negative 7 halves. And do it again. So there's delta x. And then take the current point that I have and plug it in. To get here, simplify. And now to get when x is 1, I add those values together. So that value and that value gives me this. And I want to summarize my approximation. So that's what I got. All right. Um, the next question actually is exactly the same. Um, I guess there's a minor twist, but not really. Also, delta x is 1. So you're really just uh, you're not doing much of anything here. There's the point we're given, 0k. Um, so delta x is 1. We're plugging in 0k. Uh, simplify this a bit. And now, since delta x is 1, uh, the next x value in our table is 1. So that's what we were asked to approximate. And then we get 3k plus 1 by adding that and that. And so g of 1 is approximately 0. That's given, um, which means that 3k plus 1 must equal 0, because that's our approximation. So k is negative 1 third. That's our answer. Um, so yeah, we just uh, used Euler's method quite a bit on this problem. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.